Welcome back to Lasco Ford. This is going to be a quick presentation on the 2018 Ford F-150 with the all-new Power Stroke engine inside of it. Diesel, right? 3.0 liter turbo diesel. Beautiful engine and having the chance to drive it, now very, very much impressed with this vehicle. So 2018 has given you some uh, different styling cues that have come out and to top that off, yeah, you've got an unbelievable powertrain to complement the looks of what's going on with this truck. So let's take a look at the outside of the truck, then we'll get a little bit more into the diesel engine as well. This is gonna be a sport package, okay, that's gonna be on the Lariat trim level. So in the sport package, we're gonna have painted to match features. Grill, for example, massive grill, and this is gonna be the new headlight styling that's gonna go into the Lariat 502 package and above. Now what that's gonna have on it is the outside bezels that are gonna illuminate with LED all the way around, right? And then LED turn signals, and then uh, of course LED high and low beams that are gonna go along with that headlight. Of course, I always mention LED because that's probably one of my favorite things on trucks is lighting, right? Well, you've got the bumper. The bumper has changed from the previous body style to take the bumper down in the center. You have this piece in between the headlight and the bumper that complements it as well. And it kind of follows that Raptor styling too, where they originally started the bumper dipping down in the center of it. You got a couple of bumper horns uh, or frame horns that are going to cover right here above where your tow hooks are. Now, when you have the tow hooks in the front and you have a sport package, you're going to be black. And when you see a tow hook in the front of an F-150, that's going to mean, well, you've got a four wheel drive, right? So there'll be chrome when you do a chrome package truck. There'll be black when you do a sport package truck. Pretty simple there. But let's start talking about a couple more things. This is going to be the 502 package with a camera system that's all the way around. So a 360 camera uh, system on this in the technology package too. There is your front forward camera. This right here, little trap door, and you have any time you use your windshield washer fluid, it comes out and it cleans your camera off for you. That's kind of nice because you don't have to get out of the truck with Windex and a rag or anything else. So that's, that's uh, a good, uh, good idea there too. So the back side of the truck, you're going to have camera on the back tailgate as well. And then you're going to have cameras that are on the side view mirror, both driver and passenger side. Now on this truck too, Lyria is going to come standard with this right here. And actually any of the sport packages in the XLT and above are going to come with this. That's going to be the molding or the fender flare that you're going to have on your wheel walls front and back. This is going to be complemented with a 20 inch wheel. This is going to be uh, a painted design with six spokes on the wheel too. On here, Hankook Dynapro all-terrain tires. Well, I've had them on two, three of the trucks that I've had, and they do a great job. And uh, the great job that I mean is like we live in Michigan, a lot of snow. They do a great job going through the snow, not a lot of tire noise on that too. So if you like to have a nice quiet truck, well, you're in one of the quietest trucks produced, period. So going forward, Mirror caps painted to match. You have side spotlight mirrors with four LEDs right in this little area here. Big power stroke badge for the turbo diesel that Ford now has. Whenever you see power stroke, the power stroke name came out when they added a turbo to the 7.3 liter diesel back in 1994 when the International originally built the first diesel motor with the name power stroke tied to it, going to be because of the turbo situation. That's where the power stroke name came from. They're continuing that on. This is going to be a good and accurate representation of what you got in a Super Duty with a 6.7 liter. This is going to be the little brother of that with a CGI block. Now, CGI is compacted graphite and iron block. What they've done with that is that is significantly lighter than what you're going to have with the old iron block diesels, right? So a lot lighter weight, but it also helps to keep the block cool and it also helps with your suspension to not blow out ball joints like the old 7.3 that was extremely heavy, right? So you keep talking about different options and equipment that are gonna come with this truck. Let's talk about how you can get this package. Starting out at a price point around $45,000 when properly equipped, you can get this truck in Lariat and above only. So Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum are the ways that you're gonna be able to get this truck in two wheel or four wheel drive. Two wheel drive in a Lariat, yeah, you can get it in the 45 range. What's cool about that? Well, that's about the same price as what you're gonna get in an XLT. Do you have a $10,000 premium on this truck for the engine? Nope, they cut that down, so that's pretty nice because the Lariat's already gonna come with an upgraded engine, right? So you don't have the massive markup that you typically would have in the Super Duty series. Cool? Great. Moving forward, side 
indicators here. You, you go, oh, what's that? Well, that's the sensors for the parking assistance, the blind spot monitoring, your trailer towing package that has dynamic hitch assist and reverse trailer guidance. What does all that mean? It makes it the easiest truck to back up on the planet. You have so many different cameras and different safety and security features that are on this truck that literally it's very difficult to damage this beautiful truck because you have so much protection right out of the gate. Power folding mirrors on this truck, side dimming mirrors on this truck, intelligent key access on this truck, meaning all you gotta do is have the key in your pocket, simply grab the door and you're able to open it. Power deployable running boards, yeah, that's a nice way to, to complement the look of the truck and have a taller look on the truck for the view of, you know, a lot of people like to lift trucks, have a leveling kit, lift kits, you know we love those here. This gives you that, that good look from the side to not have that side view of the truck look like it's closer to the ground. On the side of this truck too, we've got a little bit different gas door. Well, let's see why we have a little different gas door. Because you have DEF. DEF is diesel exhaust fluid, right? Well, what that's gonna do is help you to reduce the amount of emissions or negative impact on the environment by using this. This is a concentration of urea, right? So what that does is it mixes in your exhaust, so when it comes out of the tailpipe, it burns clean. We're gonna show you the tailpipe too because there is an upgrade on the tip of the exhaust. In here, a green circle ring to show you that you definitely need to put diesel in this vehicle because it's a diesel engine, right? You don't wanna put gas in a diesel, you don't wanna put flex fuel in a diesel, you will have issues, but it'll also go into a shutdown or a limp mode to protect the diesel engine that's in this. Side of your taillights here, right? Anytime you see this protruding taillight and a darker color of red here, it's gonna be the blind spot uh, side radar system that's gonna go on Ford F-150 in the Lariat 502 and above, right? Well, what this does is it shoots out a radar off the side of the truck to do cross traffic alert when you're backing out of a parking spot in any kind of grocery store or wherever you're gonna park. Gives you an idea of anybody coming up or down the row that you're trying to back out into. Along with that, those sensors are gonna work hand in hand with your reverse sensing system and your camera here to be able to do your reverse trailer guidance system. What that's gonna do is anytime you're hooked up to a trailer, it's gonna help you to back the trailer up properly without jackknifing and then damaging the beautiful paint on your rear bumper of the truck. Seven pin, four pin wiring harness on this truck as well. Paint to match uh, handle on your tailgate. That'll indicate any of the Lariat series that has everything painted to match. You know you're gonna be in a Lariat series on an F-150. Let's take a look at the tailgate on this truck. That's released with that button right there when you click it two times. What does that do? Well, it drops the tailgate because if you're walking to your truck and you have something in your hands, now you don't have to go up, set whatever it is down, and then drop your tailgate. This is a tough bed spray and liner. This is done at the factory. When manufacturing the truck, it's done with the manufacturing. You get a bigger Ford emblem up by the cab as well when it has the tough bed spray and liner that Ford produces here too. Now this tailgate too has this panel here. This panel here has these bolts that are a star bit bolt. Now why are these a different color than everything else that's been sprayed? Because these bolts are removable and you can put on the ramp system that Ford offers as an accessory for this truck. You can find that on our website. You can take a look at lascoford.com and be able to see some of these additional accessories that can come with an F-150 because it's probably the most accessorized vehicle in the planet. Don't even know if that's accurate, I just said it, so that's cool. Um, you got a locking rear spare tire too, that's what this cap is over here. Your ignition key will unlock that to release your ignition key. There's a little hidden button right here that removes this key, all right? On the back side, I mentioned the exhaust tip earlier. You do have a larger exhaust tip, that's gonna be coming with a power stroke only in the F-150. Then, we need to talk about payload. It is the highest payload. It has 440 pound-foot of torque. It has 250 horsepower. So best in class horsepower, best in class torque, but the torque is at its peak at 1,750 RPMs. What does that mean? Low end torque, out of the hole power. Good stuff, right? Helps you get to your speed very quickly, but it also helps you do that with a trailer behind you. Towing, yeah, definitely gonna help you there. What they're, what they're seeing right now with Ford and the research that they've done is about three miles per gallon better than the gasoline counterpart when under a load. Three miles to the gallon better, that makes an impact. 
So what do you expect to see when it comes to four-wheel drive with a diesel engine? Everybody talks about the fuel economy that you could potentially get at 30 miles to the gallon. Well, how many of us are going to do this in two-wheel drive? 5% of the vehicles produced by Ford in the F-150 lineup are going to be diesel. Only 5%. What does that tell you? It tells you that you're going to hold your value in the power stroke because it's a limited production, right? So getting this truck, yes, you're going to hold your value. But at the same time, of that 5%, you're going to have 80% of these trucks made with four-wheel drive. So 5% of production for F-150s, and of that 5%, 80% is going to be four-wheel drive. Get a four-wheel drive. That's my suggestion. I mean, that's, it's a truck, right? Um, so if you take a look at the, at the window sticker, this one happens to be green. Anytime you see a green window sticker, it means you got a special order. I built this truck about five months ago, and that's how long it took for us to finally get this because they're just releasing these trucks due to testing, re research, development, that whole thing. MSRP on this one, 65.8. That's after a $1,500 discount because we did a Lariat Luxury Sport package on this truck. What options do we have on it? Like all of them for the most part, right? Let's, let's, let's talk about what's gonna be on there. You've got the uh, Wi-Fi. Anytime you see Wi-Fi on an F-150, it's gonna be indicated with that right there. So that little shark fin up top is gonna give you that indication that this truck is capable of connecting to Wi-Fi and hooking up up to 10 plus devices within 50 feet of the truck are gonna operate. Why 10? Because if you go camping and you have people with you and then their friends and their kids, Everybody can hook up and they can run it off this truck. Nice thing is, provided by AT&T, 20 bucks a month, right? They give you a free trial period for a three month period of time. Let's pop the hood, because I haven't seen a whole lot of people doing that on videos on YouTube and stuff, so let's, let's look underneath it. When you pop the hood on an F-150, there's a couple things that you're gonna see. Well, first of all, the batteries are bigger. Well, this humongous battery that you're gonna have in the, in the Power Stroke diesel. You got a pretty much the same location for where your air filter is. You got pretty much the same location for where the Ram Air design styling is here. Now you've got a fully forged counterbalanced crankshaft inside of this truck too to complement the CGI block, which is the compact graphite and iron block on it as well. And it's a single turbocharger too. You had uh, dual sequential turbochargers. You had single sequential turbocharger that's going on the 6.7 liter. This is going to be one single turbocharger. What does that do? It helps you out with high altitude as well. So diesel is going to do better when you're going up hills or when you have a higher altitude. Diesel is going to perform at its peak and continue to produce the power and torque that you need to do the job. Now, who's, who's the, the, the owner for this truck? Like what type of demographic are, is Ford looking at? Well, it's the guy who doesn't want to have a work van, a flatbed, all of these different vehicles that are only used for work. This is a complimentary vehicle that you can go, hey, I can work the vehicle during the week, not saying that you're going to be doing a 10,000 pound trailer every single day and running it through the rigor of its max capabilities. Max capability on this being four-wheel drive, 11.1. Two-wheel drive, 11.4 for towing capabilities, okay? This is going to be something where you've got a guy that's hauling a trailer that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand pounds, right? You're going to notice the fuel economy improvement, but at the weekend when he still needs to use the truck, instead of having two vehicles, unhook your trailer and be able to do what you want to do with your family, right? That's what we're looking at here. This is the truck. This is the engine. This is beautiful. Also, it's quiet, extremely quiet, so I want you to be able to see that. It won't let me do a remote start with the hood open, so I'm going to shut the hood, and I want you to be able to hear what this is. I've got a microphone right here on my shirt, so I'm going to stand right next to the truck, and let's hear what it sounds like. It's kind of crucial, right? <laughs> right? Okay. I'm standing right next to a diesel with a microphone, like within a foot and a half, right? And you can totally hear conversation that we're having. Even better, if I unlock the truck, now I can pop the hood, and you still need to hear what this sounds like, because you really can't hear a whole lot. It's beautiful. That, it yeah, yeah, because I popped the hood, it's got a sensor, right? <laughs> But here's the cool thing. You can't hear the engine. Ah, uh, yeah, I got the key. It's right here. Thank you, Ford. Right. But we can have a conversation leaning over the hood of a diesel engine. Try that on your Power Stroke 7.3 liter from back in the day. You will rattle your brains loose trying to even have a conversation, much less hear anything, right? So why do you want it to be quiet? Well, because you got a Bang & Olsen sound system inside of the Lariat 502A package. 
What does that mean? It means you get the best stereo system on the planet. Sorry, Bose, take a back seat or get a ticket for the back seat. Look at uh, the top center speaker real quick. I'm going to go over to the other side of the truck, point out a couple things, and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so Bang & Olufsen, they spent 10,000 man hours designing just this one speaker. What does that mean? Well, that means it's got a perfectly centered sound and balance to the truck. It will blissfully let you go deaf when you crank it to the maximum volume. But it's crisp, it's clear. It is the top of the line, no doubt about it. But here's the cool thing, Ford needed it. I mean, I've had enough F-150s to go. The one thing that I'm lacking is a sound system that you can really complement the rest of the truck, the powertrain, having aluminum body panels and having a, you know, a boron steel frame and all of the goodies there. Well, there's other goodies too. Well, this in the 502 is gonna come with that up there, which is a massive sunroof, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it opens, okay, great. How about this? It keeps going all the way to the back seat. Come on down. Huge open roof area, right? So that's a beautiful way to look at it. You've got a dual speed transfer case too on this truck because you have two wheel high, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low. So that's nice. You're gonna have the four wheel auto anytime you go into the Lariat and above. This is where we were talking about the reverse trailer guidance system. This is how you're gonna control backing your truck up. It's spring loaded. So once your trailer is hooked up and programmed into the LCD screen up here on your productivity screen, what happens? It literally will back your trailer up perfectly straight for miles. It's unreal. Very cool option there. Heated and air conditioned seats, two USB ports right here that are smart charging systems. This one specifically in the Lariat 502 has all of your ambient lighting too. So you can go in here and change the colors of your interior for whatever mood you're in. Completely supple and beautiful leather interior with perforated seats. So your heated and air conditioned seats actually have a better effect faster. Back seat, and yeah, it's heated too. So you've got pretty much anything you would ever want to see inside of a truck or a luxury car with capability and a bed on the back, if that makes sense, right? Ford F-150, this is the reason why they stay number one, selling the trucks and having the, the highest volume period, right? Well, the reason why is because of how many configurations that they have. From a V6 to the V8 to the V6 EcoBoost to the second stage V6 EcoBoost, and then this, the Power Stroke Diesel, paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Here's one thing I was surprised with. It's got an auto start stop. So many diesel guys from you know, you know, the, the beginning of time let your diesel run and let it run and don't shut it off and then you go to crank it and it's a nightmare to crank it, right? Well, this has auto start stop, but you can turn that off. So if you get annoyed with it, it's this A button with a circle around it with an arrow, right? That you just touch it and it turns it off. It'll illuminate and say off. When you come up to a stop sign, guess what? Your truck's gonna keep running if you don't want it to start and stop. Why do they have start and stop? Well. It's gonna give you better fuel economy, better emissions, and well, it probably helps out Ford with the government too and all that stuff. So here's the cool thing with that. You can deactivate it, but at the same time, you get an upgraded starter with this truck too, upgraded Bendix on your starter as well. So you have better, more reliable equipment underneath the hood just to support that one function, right? Well, it works and it's well worth it. So take a look at a couple options in the back seat real quick because it's still not just that it's a power stroke diesel not just that it makes sense and it's extremely quiet the luxury of the truck is gorgeous to say the least so we've got a little floor protection here <clears throat> this has got the all-weather mats in it as well full coverage one piece but if you notice too if we lift this up right ah, there we go completely flat floor there is no transmission hump uh, that goes through the truck too. So guess what? You throw a cooler, you throw a dog cage, you throw whatever you need to. It's not gonna tilt and teeter and all that other stuff because it's completely flat. Beautiful, right? But it also gives you a huge entryway to be able to put those things in here. Try that in a double cab Chevy. You're probably gonna be taking the lid off of your cooler to try and put it in sideways and it's a goat rodeo. Awesome, good luck with that Chevy. Power inverter right here, right? Well, you've got the inverter right here for this 400 watt max power inverter there. You also have a second location. So let's open that up. There you go, three prong outlet. If you go look to the right of your touch screen too, up in the front, that is where you have a second three prong outlet. 
over here on this side. What's that? Oh, those are USB plugins. And then, oh, oh, oh now you got another, you got a 12, a 12 volt outlet there, and then you got the heated seats. Activated right there, right? Not just heated seats, it's a three stage, off, high, and low. Then you have this ventilation that matches the front dash too. Good Lord, it's got everything in it, right? <clears throat> Other options too, you can actually do second row inflatable seat belts that disperse your energy better over the chest area. That's another option that you can do on the truck too. Folding head uh, restraints in the back seat so you actually can use the visual backing up skills of your eyes to be able to see out the back window, right? Cool. Folding the seats down, this little lever right here. It's confusing, I don't know why, but a lot of customers uh, have trouble finding that, so I figured I'd point that out too. LED in the inside, LED on the outside, LED lights everywhere, right? This is a 2018 Power Stroke F-150. This is the baddest truck, I think, on the planet. This is a perfect package because it's my favorite to not do the chrome. This is Lasco Ford. This is a 2018 Lariat 502 package, Power Stroke Diesel. If you like this video, please comment on it so we know how to satisfy you on the questions that you have. If you have any questions, comment it down below. If you want to take a look at some of the inventory that we have, or if you'd like to order one, completely available. Our allocation is almost endless. Take a look at lascoford.com. My name is Paul Zagman. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat Diesel Power Stroke.